This is Salamancer, you are watching Sal TV, and I never realized that the whiskered gentleman here is actually all taped on. That is hilarious. But we are watching a game today between Exodus Society and the Free Frag Network. Exodus Society right now running red, or I'm sorry, running blue. Uh, joke's on you, running blue right now against Free Frag Network in the red trunks. And uh, I'm not going to go over the rosters in full. Right now they are fighting, of course, over the bathhouse, but I am going to say two things here. The medic for the Exodus Society in blue right now is actually named Bubby, but I'm probably not going to even call him that because I'm, I'm going to forget about it. And the soldier is named Polar. So those, those are two names they told me they were going to be different. Oh, big snipe here by Jake already. And so we're seeing some crazy action going on right at the beginning here. Um, oh, and here Jake sees the spy, does manage to get that kill on him. And is he dead ringing? I'm not even sure if he is, actually. Very good kill there. Um, Dr. Hash Shashin, uh, just gonna call him Dr. Hash, getting out here with a quick crit sticky, here they go, trying to, go oh no, uh, looks like there's counter crit pop there by uh, Exodus Society, I keep wanting to call them the experiment, but no, it is the Exodus Society, Team X, uh, and it just was not in time, they lost their medic and demo man there in the process. Serene here, just uh, taking a little bit of a headshot there and pretending like he's dead. He's going to hop into the water, actually. We'll see if, he, if, if anybody can hear him getting back alive. And it looks like, no, they have not. They've not spotted him yet. He's going to come back up here pretty soon. We're going to see if he can't get a nice pick on the enemies. So far, though, lots of time going down for uh, the Free Frag Network right now. And he's still just sitting there, actually taking a lot of damage from uh, from being down uh, under the water. You can actually start drowning, believe it or not. No, he's, he's decided that that is a bad idea. People know where he is. But look, uh, they still are not chasing him back into the water right now. And uh, good work here by Exodus Society to get up into this bathhouse. They're trying to push as hard as they can. They are still running the Kritzkrieg, as you guys can see. Uh, but, oh, man, it looks like... Oh, no, Dr. Hash actually goes down there. So Kritzkrieg doesn't even need to get popped yet here. And Exodus Society is in a good position. They should be able to push onto the point a minute on capture time right now for the Free Frag Network. And we will have to see whether they can hold onto it for as long as possible. Because, of course, the longer you hold it, the longer your opponents have to hold it just to get down to the time you have. And the closer you are to winning that round yourself... And we're seeing, I don't even know what is going on with this uh, with this name. It's like it is upside down. I think it is upside down. His name is Dybe, but we're just going to go with that. D-Y-B, Dybe. Um, good kill there on Jake. Jake uh, was doing his best to get a snipe there. Not going to happen, though. And now trying to kill the Pyro as well. Looks like he took just a little bit of burning damage there, but grabbed that health kit away from the enemy heavy who was coming in as well. So now we've got Exodus Society in firm control of the point. They control the bathhouse as well, the pool house. Uh, but it sounds like there's a big, uh, big, big spy play going on there. And so our spy here for Team Red seems like, oh, Rar Spoon, he is on fire right now. Got to find somebody to heal him up. There's a dispenser right here. There you go, man. Um, and this is why people always say need a dispenser here, by the way, because look at, at how easily he got his life saved there. Right now, Jin, oh, looking for the medic pick and does manage to get the medic. Dr. Hash going down right there. That was amazing work by Jin here on Exodus site to kill that medic. Of course, he's not done yet. Got to knock out some other people too. Kills the pyro there of Roland Demon and looking for more headshots here. I'm surprised he hasn't been picked out yet. There should be like an enemy sniper or something. There's that spy right now, of course. That's just the thing is that here on Highlander, you know the enemy has a sniper. You know he's probably going to be hanging around that area most of the time. you got to make absolutely sure that... Uh, that you do not let him just go completely unhindered. So the spies and the scouts typically are the ones who are going to be going after him on King of the Hill Lakeside. <coughs> I said it in my earlier videos too. I I don't like Lakeside. I just really don't. Uh, but I play main medic and I tend to die to snipers a lot. So what are you going to do? Oh man, actually good reflect there on the Liberty Launcher. Uh, the DJ Bear here, aka Polar. I, I, I got it right. Um, trying to deal damage there, and the Pyro just managing to catch him out. Uh, now, Kit Alpha, the Heavy, has gone down here, and, oh, Hagabow, or Haga, I don't even know, Haga, we're going to call him Haga, uh, did get down to, like, 8 health there, but gets back onto his medic, so they're going to be okay. Problem is, right now, it seems like there's some good stickies coming in here, dealing a lot of damage, but Exodus Society having some trouble here right now. They have uh, attempted to get a crits off there. They did kill Dr. Hash, but the problem is they're down quite a few players right now. They still do hold the point, though, and uh, Turbox here trying his best to, oh... He was just trying to get on top of that, uh, oh, on top of the little health kit area there. Not health, not even a health kit in sight for him. <laughs> Good attempt at a spy pick there. It didn't work out so well, but Serene is still alive, actually. He uh, is using that dead ringer like a boss. Jake finishing off bro codes, bro codes, like, like the bro code, you know, but multiples of them. And then gets killed himself by Jin. So the sniper battle here so far won for Exodus. They're trying to stop this cap as long as they can because right now the, the times are very even and uh, F2 taking this point means if they can hold on to it for about a minute longer, they're going to win the round here. Uh, right now, of course, it is still 0-0 zero to zero here on King of the Hill Lakeside between the Free Frag Network and Exodus Society. And I'm, uh, I think I've said that quite enough now, but, you know, 
it's, it's always good to say. Here comes a Crits Creek once again, though. Uh, Soldier and Demo Man getting that, and so they're going to deal maximum splash damage. Looks like the... Uh, that is actually a really neat combo, by the way. The Liberty Launcher and the Crits Creek. Um, People, I mean, yeah, people like to, of course, crits a demo man, and you really should be doing that in Highlander. Crits that demo most of the time because he can get that da damage put out there really far and do a lot of it. But that using the Liberty Launcher with the Crits Creek is actually really cool. The normal rockets kind of fall, you know, they, they fly really slow, so it's tough to hit somebody with them. You, you, it's really hard, even at long range, to dodge that Liberty Launcher. So you can deal a lot of damage with the crits and the Liberty, and I like seeing that. That was really neat. Uh, right now, Dr. Hash running up with about 30% crits. He may not be able to get this back in time. They are trying to grab this point as long as they can, but so far Exodus does hold on to it. Uh, only about 30 seconds left on the clock for them. It's it's double the time right now left for F2, but it's getting a lot closer to the end of the round, and right now they've got Roland sitting here on the point. Probably going to kill this engineer. Oh, good flare shot there on... Um, what is that guy's name? I can't even tell. Who's that engineer? It, Brazil? Brazil style. Apparently he's upside down Brazil style, so um, if that is some kind of innuendo, I don't even know. Uh, it always sells over my head. But here we go. We've got Dybe uh, rushing out here and trying to help his team capture the point, then hold it down for as long as possible. And this is a very close round so far. Only about 15 seconds left here before Exodus wins this, though. Can they do it? Oh, Dybe taking a lot of hits there from that mini sentry. Those nasty little mini sentries. Bro codes now. Wants to take the stickies. Oh, call it. Not calling it. Here come the crit stickies in for red. And oh, a good attempt there. The counter crits here by Exodus. I think maybe they killed the medic. But the problem is um, now it's going into overtime, and Free Frag Network are taking the point. Only 30 seconds left on the clock for them. Spy coming in right now, and Jin looking to get some picks as well, but it's not going to be enough. The spy has gone down here. Um, and it's only 30 seconds until Free Frag actually wins this. It looks like they may be able to do it. One health left for Manhugs right now, trying his very best to win this round, uh, sitting on that point. But the problem is, oh, here comes the scout. Still has managed to spot him. There you go. He finally dies, but not before getting another mini sentry up there. And only 10 seconds left. This is already like one of the closest rounds you will ever see on Lakeside. It looks like Red Team trying their best to defend it, but right now they're falling back away from the enemy medic de demo combo, and lots of people on the point here for Blue. Uh, Red really needs to get in and stop this capture as quickly as they possibly can, but they're not doing it yet. Finally, the sniper goes up there, but the problem is he dies, and there you go, the first round in over, you know, double overtime here, going to Exodus Society. So the Free Frag Network is, uh, they got their work cut out for them now. They need to get up there and cap cap quickly. Let's just see where Bro Codes goes here, what kind of rollout he takes, because these rollouts are very, very important. And he does take a pretty quick roll up to the point, not seeing the other demo man yet. And he's actually in a position here. Yeah, the other demo man was kind of trying to spam through this choke point. But now look at the position of those stickies. Nobody is getting in through that door for quite a while. Now, Polar went down there, and so did Brocodes, actually. Two very heavy damage classes down for Exodus Society right now. So they lost a lot of damage, a lot of mobility there. And uh, only Jake has been taken out in return. That's a really good kill, though. Taking out Jake, the sniper for red, means that uh, they can actually push up on top of that point and not have to worry about getting their heads blown off by a sniper. Those snipers are so nasty on this map. I swear there's just so many hiding spots for snipers. I hate it. I hate it. But no, snipers love it. You know, I, I just happen to not be a sniper. <laughs> um, looks like initially Free Frag Network are going to take this point, but they're bring, bringing their heavy actually back. Uh, Oh, and the medic here healing a spy, but that spy does get taken down there by our soldier with the equalizer. Kit Alpha on the heavy rushing in trying to deal some damage. Um, and Haga ends up taking down, of course, uh, Serene. But also, it uh, looks like Roland and uh, Rara Spoon have gone down there for Free Frag Network. Nonetheless, they have managed to capture the point. Medic and Heavy coming up here right now, and I'm getting some weird FPS stuff going on again. This is really strange. I wish it would not be doing this right now because, uh, yeah, it sounded like 15 FPS for me. I don't know what's going on with that. I think maybe the recent uh, update kind of messed with it. So just bear with me. I hope it goes back up. It probably should. Yeah, right now, all these players up on the point so far. Free Frag Network doesn't have anywhere near a, a full crits yet, though. And right now, we're seeing Exodus Society does very nearly have it. Um, I might even pause this. This is really crazy just to see if I can't get the, the frame rate back up. Yeah, just one second. I'm going to try that. And unpausing, it looks like that has worked briefly. The heavy there did get one kill on the pyro, now getting a kill on the soldier as well with the crits. Crits popping on that heavy is a pretty darn good thing to happen right now. Kit's taking a lot of damage though and does get backstabbed. Nonetheless, Exodus Society manages to capture the point for the first time this round. Uh, right now, of course, it is 1-0 in favor of Exodus Society against um, Free Frag Network in the red. But... Uh, anything can happen in this game. Free Frag has a bit more time on the point right now. They're going to have to get back and capture it once again, though, and that's like, that can be a very tough thing to do here. It's all about controlling as much territory as you can, getting in there, denying the enemy the ability to uh, to stop you from capturing that point, really. And so right now they are pushing to the left-hand side here with their medic. Uh, quite a nice little damage combo here once that Kritzkrieg is built up. But, of course, the Kritzkrieg is uh, a very, very similar amount there for our blue medic. And, oh, Rarspoon with a 
very, very nice pick there. Cleanly executed. Perfect decloak. I'm surprised he didn't get heard there, but oh, is he actually looking for a headshot? No, he's just going to... Oh, he's found the sniper, though. He's not an ambassador. He doesn't get a lot of damage down. That's the problem. <clears throat> but right now, he's actually letting his soldier finish off that sniper. And now, Exodus Society lost the point once again. They do have a crit screen ready to go here, but it looks like somebody just died there to a pipe. And counter crits, of course, ready to go for both these teams here. Oh, looks like the crits battle there was won by blue team, though. Really big stickies there. Ended up killing that medic for red very quickly. And there goes a backstab on Cali, the demo man for Free Frag Network. So we're seeing Free Frag losing the point very quickly here. They got about 20 or 30 seconds off of that capture. Not a lot right now. And bro code just kind of setting up some uh, some bro stickies here to completely deny that little route. That route is a very common one to take when you're trying to get down into the valley for the midpoint. Um, Haga now going for the equalizer kill once again there against a soldier this time around and actually could have almost gotten it. Um, Polar there had only like 20 health left by the end of that, but not gonna happen. Exodus does hold on to the point right now and looks like they're gonna be okay to do that for just a little while while Free Frag Network tries to find their way up there. Right now, Woodster taking out the demo man with the help of All Manwich, <laughs> his friendly heavy. All these guys have great names. Uh, we are, of course, seeing uh, Free Frag push their heavy up here, but the problem is he's taking a lot of damage right now from the soldier, the mini sentry, and there goes another Gritzkrieg. Um, does finally get taken out, though, and it looks like our medic for Exodus Society is down. Um, Jake here trying to do some huge work, and he's dealt a lot of damage so far with all these headshots. Um, he is clearing the way for Free Frag to really get out there right now, and it looks like they're going to use their uh, their crits pretty darn soon. They've got it at 85%, so we're going to watch the Cali cam here and see whether these crit stickies can be effective. So far, uh, this round, they've not had a lot of very effective crits right now, and yeah, Cali just to push straight on to this point. Here we go. The crit sticky is ready to go. He doesn't see anybody yet, so a little bit of an early pop. But did all oh, found a huge pick there and helped that spy. The spy didn't get a chance. Five kills so far in that crit screen. Holy crap. Um, <clears throat> did not get a chance to, to get that backstab. Exodus Society, almost everybody wiped out there with that amazing crit. And there you go. Roland ended up killing Polar uh, with a reflect. We even missed that on the camera, but Roland with an amazing kill there. So, yeah, we're going to have to see whether Exodus Society can manage to hold down the fort here, grab that point back. They've got, once again, about half the capture time remaining that Free Frag Network does, but Free Frag Network holds the point right now. Our boys in red uh, may end up being able to win this round and tie it up. We'll have to see. Right now, we've got a spy walking around the back here along with a uh, little flanking scout, so both of them working in concert here to try and knock out this medic demo combo, but beautiful work there by the demo to just back his medic on into the wall take all of the damage and tank it while he uh while he laid down all those stickies beautiful work but now here's the problem war spoon coming around behind may try to kill oh has killed the demo man hasn't been spotted yet killed the medic as well chain stab right there by raw spoon and does not manage to get away but he did his work exactly as he needed to killed that enemy medic and he has caused uh, Exodus Society almost single-handedly there to be unable to recapture this point for quite a while. Haga coming up right now and uh, taking a very forward jump just to try and def keep that sniper back in his spawn as much as he can. Very good uh, roaming soldier action there from Haga to get that far forward. Beautiful stuff. Serene coming around right now and we are once again having a little bit of a frame rate problem so I'll be right back. And yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a memory leak or something, but it seems like every time I pause and unpause, it gets better. So, oh, he's got that little Deus Ex, like, augmented arm thing. That's pretty cool looking. I'm not going to lie. I, I like it. I like it. Painted black. Very nice. Exodus really needs to get up there, though. It's only about 45 seconds left for them, but it's only 10 seconds left for red right now, and Exodus needs to... Oh! Big pipe there, and he ends up getting finished off by the uh, heavy of Kid Alpha. But yeah, uh, it looks like if they can't get any play t uh, any time here on the point right now, then it's that's going to be it. It is overtime right now. There is just a tiny little bit of cap time on the point, and it looks like they may be able to get it here, but it's going to be tough, especially against... Oh, a Crits Krieg. Here comes the stickies right now, knocking people out on the point left and right. Beautifully timed Crits there to defend it, and I think think that is going to be it. It is 1-1 one one tied up right now between Exodus Society and the Free Frag Network. So let's just see who can win this next round because so far it's been a real barn burner just like I was told uh, by the person who sent me this demo. And you know what? I'm not even going to say who sent it to me because uh, it's not like people always send me demos of themselves winning, but you know, uh, you don't want to send me a demo of you losing unless you're just like, oh, look at this awesome thing I did. Whatever. So I'm not going to tell you who sent it to me. I don't even know who won this game because I didn't check the score. So we will have to see. But um, yeah, here comes the push onto the point right now. And it looks like Exodus Society initially taking the point here. Uh, they they are probably going to be worried about the enemy uh, Kritzkrieg here, though, and look at this. Actually, the positioning here of Red Team, they're pushing around all the way behind, uh, and they also own the Pool House, so nobody owns the point yet, just yet, uh, and it looks like here comes the Crits Krieg, but wow, didn't even matter. There goes the Heavy finally, but not before taking out a Crits Heavy of his own. And uh, no Crits Krieg popped yet for Dr. Hash. Dr. Hash here, um, where did he go? 
Uh, he's, he's trying to find somebody. There we go. Crit stick. He's finally out now for red team, doing a very good job of counter critting. And, uh, of course, Serain now has mail. Apparently, somebody was delivering bills for him, which uh, I don't like getting bills delivered to me, but it doesn't at least feel like a crit. Um, nonetheless, Exodus losing the point. And so, once again, Free Frag takes the initial battle for the point there and has get, gotten the first capture. Uh, that mini sentry not dealing any damage. It sounds like the snipers are having a little battle up there as well. There's just so much action going on in these Highlander games right now. It's always, you know, you, no matter who I watch, I'm almost always watching some kind of action. And once again, did we just see another Liberty Launcher rocket get reflected? Roland is a, he really is a demon. I mean, his name is Demon. Yes, he is a demon with that thing. Um, Serene here, oh, they know he's down there, and he is going to drown. That is going to be hilarious. But right now, Dr. Hash backing his team off the point. They already hold it. They don't want to play too far forward. In fact, what they really want to do here is just kind of let Exodus Society push up um, independently, like one by one. Oh, Rarspoon was going for the uh, sap there. Didn't manage to get it, though, and it's decided... Oh, no! Rarspoon, no! Trying to stab a pyro in the face. That's not going to work very well. Oh, no! The Quits Creek popped for Free Frag Network once again, and they actually did manage to kill the Exodus Society uh, medic, that is Bubby. Killed him while he was not paying attention. He was busy focusing on that spy. Oh, the equalizer from Haga. Haga is playing huge right now. Oh, man, that was a crazy kill there. Um, showing us all exactly how to use that equalizer at those clutch moments. Eight health left and running up to that uh, running up to that demo man after he'd already killed the sniper, just being like, nope. <laughs> demo man, you are you are totally screwed here. No, here we go. Um, Serene trying to get in there and actually did not use a dead ringer for some reason, so he is actually down for the count. Uh, not a terribly long respawn timer, but nonetheless, he didn't like that. Um, he's going to have to be respawning and not using that time to get around behind the enemy medic right now. So Free Frag with a very good hold position down here in the valley. They cannot get sniped here unless that sniper pushes really, really far forward, far enough for him to basically be uh, neutralized and killed very quickly. Um, oh, and one of those uh, wrangled mini sentries once again. Those things take like two or three stickies to kill at least, and it's such a pain to deal with them when they've got, uh, you know, like that 60 or 70, whatever it is, percent damage reduction. Um, they don't deal a heck of a lot of damage, but they will shut down a choke just like they're, be used, you know, just they're used for right now. Critch did get popped once again. <coughs> Callie got that kill on... Dibe or QYP or whatever his name is. And Jake now just having this little sniper battle. Once again, he's going to peek around here and see if he's probably going to call out that sniper as well if he can. But so far, no dice. Uh, both the snipers are up. In fact, everybody's up right now. First person to die there is uh, Polar. But look, here comes the Crits Creek 4 blue team. They have managed to get at least one kill there on Jake. So Jake going down. No more sniper for the Free Frag Network. Uh, and Dr. Hash still running the Crits Creek, but he's having to find somebody to heal right now and wants to stay very far back. So Exodus Society, look at this. They've got three minutes left on the clock versus only 35 seconds for Free Frag Network. Free Frag has been playing huge this game right now. Uh, Gus Johnson's voice, who who is that? I think that is actually the medic there. Um, Serene ended up getting that good kill on the heavy, but it looks like Free Frag is going to take that point right back. Um, only about 20 seconds on the point there for Exodus Society, and I think Free Frag is probably going to have this round in the bag. Jin here looking to see if he can't get a snipe or two um, but so far people are moving at odd angles and that's always tough to snipe I mean like I said I'm not a sniper but uh, I do at the very least know how difficult it can be to snipe sometimes uh, especially when you're like me and you you uh you know, your hand isn't all that steady. <laughs> uh, TF2 is, in fact, my first competitive shooter, in case you didn't know. So I tend to play Medic. Can't aim all that well. Oh, big Zicky kill there on Turbox, on Kit Alpha. Uh, died down right now. The DJ Bear, a.k.a. Polar, gone down as well. Bro Codes, wow. Exodus is just completely wiped out here. And uh, somebody, like, somebody just rage quit. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, said somebody left the game there, but it may have been a spectator anyway. Nonetheless, um, right now it is 2-1. to one, A very convincing and very fast round there for the free frame network so we're gonna have to see whether exodus society can bring it back bro code's gonna take his big sticky jump once again and gets out there a lot faster than his opposing demo man so very well done but gets picked off by jake right away great sniping by jake all game so far and woodster looking at that spy but he gets taken down by a heavy now on the point jake is having to grab some health here and that is not going to help him because even just one body shot or no scope shot or whatever is going to take him out and serain ends up using the ambassador for the headshot so jake is down right now Free Frag Network having to fall back just a little bit. They're missing their heavy, they're missing their sniper, and their pyro. But Exodus Society, I'm sorry, not able to take advantage of this so far. Uh, they really ought to be pushing up onto that point with no sniper, but they're having to fall back for some reason. 
Right now, uh, the crits advantage just ever so slightly to Exodus Society, but there you go. Crits is ready for Dr. Hash as well, and we'll have to see who ends up uh, getting the kills here. Rara Spoon looks like he wants to get a little bit of the teleporter camping going on. We'll have to see whether anybody actually uses it. Um, uh, right now, the oh, no, that's a regular Uber pop there for Exodus, and um, ooh, no, no teleport camping just yet, but regular Uber pop there for Exodus. So interesting. Uh, of course, we saw the Quits Creek there, I think, for Dr. Hash. Dr. Hash is actually down right now, and there you go. Looks like Rara just wants to start setting up some sappers and walk away. <laughs> Sniper kind of looking for him, but there you go. Teleported down, so Exodus Society going to have some difficulty getting reinforcements. And this is actually a very large King of the Hill map. It can take quite a while to get to that point. Polar trying to get some kills right now alongside his heavy, but he's having to back off. There was that that little uh, wrangled mini sentry being such a pain. Here comes a big jump in from our red soldier, and of course he's taking some mini sentry damage now as well. Engineers really doing their work here and laying down those mini sentries as quickly as they possibly can. Great kill there, though, by Polar. But yeah, those engineers, I mean, these guys have been doing a crazy job all game. Those mini sentries have just been um, causing so much damage to both teams, and they are, they're so pesky. Dealing with those things is so difficult, because you're always like, oh, if I just kill it, another one's going to come right back up. Somebody take out the engineer, and, and of course, the engineer is just nowhere to be seen until he drops his next one. But here we go. Uh, Turbox right now. I keep wanting to call him TurboTax, because I'm reading that wrong. But uh, we have Turbox keeping his team defended against spies right now, and the point currently is owned by Free Frag, but the times are much more even this round. Exodus could very well tie this up. Here is a heavy looking out the uh, bathhouse though and there's another mini sentry getting set up by our engineer once again crits has popped in on a demo man and does take out bro code takes out dive as well uh qyp whatever the heck his name is um that is of course our scout so not not too many great kills there so far for free frag off that and here comes the counter uber so we're finally seeing more ubers being used here and it's popped on polar once again so polar taking the uber with his liberty launcher dealing some decent damage with it and there you go free frag um actually manages to recapture that point we're gonna have to see whether they can hold on to it for very long though they trying to set up a little dispenser right there. Jake is going to be coming up and looking for the headshots right now and spots the medic. Doesn't manage to get the kill. Kid Alpha was knocked out by a pyro, though. And now Jake's having to deal with a spy. I need to restart my little recording here once again because I'm getting some frame rate issues. And issues like that are just so difficult and, and awful for me to deal with. I hate doing it, but you know what? Uh, I just want to make sure this video looks nice and clean at 30 FPS at least. Jake trying to get some kills there, not getting any so far. Serene actually got a kill on Haga, so uh, Soldier looks like he's going to be down for uh, F2, that is F squared, or the Free Frag Network. Those guys doing some great work here right now. Brazil style setting up that mini sentry there on the point once again just to sit there and cause enemies to waste ammo on it. And uh, looks like Exodus does have their Uber almost ready to go here. Dr. Hash still quite a ways away from his crits and that means that uh well they're actually pushing forward here but it means they're going to have a difficult time getting the kills that they need to a lot of damage very very good focus fire right now coming down though and oh this engineer is still alive for some reason that is crazy how is he still up there that finally dies to his uh f oh no look at this uh, Medic got disconnected there from his soldier, so Polar ends up going down to a crit sticky and some fire. Um, oh, Spy there trying to get a kill, but Saran goes down again. So uh, Saran tried to use the Dead Ringer, and instead it just ended up, uh, it, it ended up, he like double clicked it. Hate when that happens because, of course, he took a scout hit and then took a pill to the face and he died. Uh, but yeah, it looks like Exodus, they wanted to get that point right now, but Free Frag actually is down in the time, so they're desperately trying to make up for the difference between them and Exodus. They want to hold on to it for the rest of the round, of course. Kit Alpha just standing up here and defending his sniper right now, interestingly enough, waiting for that uh, medic to call out where they need to go. Serene here is now back up with the Dead Ringer once again, disguised as a scout, interestingly enough. Takes the hit, and he's just going to walk around back through the bathhouse. Um, Really using this water to decloak seems like it's a really, really decent thing. It's worked a lot uh, for him. But now he's coming back up, and, and yeah, there you go. They do hold on to the bathhouse, so he's not even behind enemy lines right now. That's not where he wants to be. Um, Pyro getting back up here for free frag and trying to hold on to this point as much as he can, but right now there is a heavy trying to deal with him, and that is not going to work very well for him. There you go. Gets face poked there by Serene with the knife. Now we're seeing Rarspoon just walk out here, but no, we're actually going to watch Exodus Society and their defense of the point. They've got less than a minute here, and if they can hold on to it, once again, they will win this round and bring it to 2-2. Two to two. It's going to be an extremely long game if that happens, but you know what? I am enjoying every minute of it so far. These these guys are playing at a very high level of, of uh, Highlander TF2 right now. Um, I, I don't think anybody quite as high level as the classic mix-up team was, but nonetheless, these guys are playing very well coordinated so far. Haga coming around doing his roaming soldier work once again. Good uh, rocket jump there on the left side. I wonder if this guy's actually like left-handed. That would be weird. Um, no, he's okay. He's taking a lot of damage now from that heavy and his anti-aircraft gun. So no, he's he's gonna have to back off there for sure. Exodus Society walking up towards the bathhouse once again. Uh, they don't want to walk in there just yet. Liberty launcher firing in. So lots of spam coming down right now, but no, they're just like let's back out of there. We gotta we gotta stop this capture on the point. Get straight. 
straight out there. And so there you go. It's heavy versus heavy right now. This heavy taking a lot of damage. All man, which does get taken out here. Serain has managed to kill Dr. Hash as well. That means no heavy, no medic. Um, practically everybody down for the free frag network right now. And Brazil style going for the kill on this soldier. He knows where he's gone and actually kind of backs off there. Um, but Roland is now down as well. Demo Man, I'm not sure what he was doing over here. Uh, ends up, he's going to get taken out as well, I think. Maybe. Uh, Polar, meanwhile, got an equalizer kill out there, and we missed that one. But it looks like Dr. Hash getting out here and trying to keep his team alive. Nonetheless, it's only 10 seconds left here until uh, Exodus Society wins this round, and there goes Dr. Hash. So uh, I think, guys, that we're going to see a 2-2 two -to -two situation here. Yes, it looks like that is exactly what has happened. So whoever wins this next round is going to bring it to the halftime. And, oh. I <laughs> wanted to see that taunt kill so bad, but oh well. Let's just get the, uh, let's see what the DJ Bear does for his rollout here, whether he actually goes, like, really fat. Yeah, it looks like he's going to do just that. Um, get him just a little bit of buffs up there from his medic, but he wants to get there very, very quickly, almost the same time as his Demo Man does, but no, he looks like he's uh, oh, starting to spam through that doorway there, and there you go. Now the rest of his team is in position as well. Uh, both teams here are in their respective positions behind the bathhouse. There you go. The Critch Creek still being run for our good friends, the Free Frag Network, and still got a regular Uber there for Exodus Society now. We're going to have to see whether uh, that can actually work out for Free Frag. Right now they're losing a lot of players, but Callie's still alive. Man, which ends up getting taken down as well. It's all going to be up to Callie here to get those crit stickies. Um, and he's building this as quickly as he possibly can. Look at uh, just how well he was building that, dealing damage to himself to make sure he got it built up. And here comes the crits right now. Where are these stickies going to go? Are they going to land on what they need to do? No, so far it has been called out. Turbox, the only man dead from it so far, but the medic is down anyway for Exodus Society. So they did manage to capture the point, but it looks like it's going to be very short-lived here. Only about uh, 15 seconds or so. No, so far somebody's still blocking that capture so maybe like 20 seconds there on the points nonetheless that's a very short-lived capture time um, there you go dr hash eating that sandwich that his uh that his wonderful friendly heavy threw to him it's only four up right now for free frag so if anything yes this is what we want to see exit is pushing right up onto the point and saying yeah we've got more players than you right now so we're just going to go ahead and capture uh okay thanks bye it is what's happening. Um, Dr. Hash gets taken out there, and Jin actually got taken out by the Persian Persuader, I think is what that is. I want to find this uh, demo man right now. Where did he go? Bro codes. Are you using the Persian Persuader? Come on, show me. Show me. Uh, we will have to see later. Uh, right now, he's, of course, got his stickies out, making sure to lay them down. And Jake coming back around once again. Is he going to get any big old headshots? No, he's looking for a spy right now, it looks like. He may be, may be feeling a little bit paranoid after the spy just keeps sneaking up on him with that ambassador. Uh, he is using the Razorback, so he's not going to get backstabbed. But that ambassador dealing the headshots means that after just one headshot, he will go down. So no fun. Uh, right now, of course, there's a lot of action going on on the point, And it looks like uh, Free Frag is not getting the better of it so far. Their medic has gone down, but they are dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, here we go. The Uber is popped right now for the blue team. Jake just popping around behind, actually. Uh, this is an interesting position for him. He's very, very far forward here, but he's looking for the medic. Can he get him? Yes, he can! Right through the heavy Jake with a huge snipe there from the bathhouse. He was, he was uh, doing a really good job. Now, Polar did manage to take him out. Um, Dive now has knocked out Hashashin as well. Hashashin uh, has gone down as well. So once again, the Medic for Free Frag Network is down. And Serene here wants to get a kill on... Oh, no, he doesn't! He's taken out by... Uh, by Haga just watching for that so gotta shut those spies down that is exactly what these teams are starting to do and now Dive doing some great work here Kali gets taken down uh, most of the I thought most of the damage was done by Dive but it turns out actually not um, oh Rar Spoon now coming around oh don't dig look there you go he wants to uh, are you kidding me <laughs> that's got it. That's got what he's thinking right now. Come on, that guy just like backed into me. Are you kidding me? Um, Exodus now looks like they still controlling that point, and they've been controlling it for a very long time. Free Frag Network is going to need uh, a, bi a big miracle to pull this round out at this rate because right now it's less than a minute for Exodus Society to get this round in the bag, and that is of course uh, exactly what we saw Free Frag do in round two with their first capture. It was uh, it was a really really convincing capture, or maybe it was their second capture. I don't remember. Um, but no, Exodus Society right now. They've held the point for a very long time. Once they recapture it, if they do, it's only going to be about 30 seconds that they have to hold it. So that's going to be uh, basically a win for them if they can capture it. Uh, we've got Gus Johnson's voice, a.k.a. Uh, Bubby here for Exodus Society, getting ready to push right now. DJ's down, though, and so is Kid Alpha. I don't know if they really want to do this. Um, Ubering a pyro out onto the point is probably not a good idea. They I, Even even just popping out there, they're not doing any damage with that. But look at this. Uh, point is getting capped right now. Two, two X on the point. That is a scout. Just putting some time down there. 
and forcing the enemies to come pay attention to him. Uh, here we go. It looks like the, uh, he's still out there with his pyro. There you go. He's found his heavy now. I think he's going to want to go out there and uber the heavy onto the point. We'll have to see, though, because Free Frag has uh, killed like three, four of Exodus Society right now. They don't show any signs of stopping. Jin gets taken down there by Jake as well. And so Free Frag in a very good position here on the point right now. Um, Broco is trying to deal some damage from up top. Turbox, uh, what are they doing right now? They're just they're just, like, just like pocketing Turbox down beneath here. The medic is not getting heals on anybody. <clears throat> I, I don't know. Uh, it's still like a minute and 40 left, though. So Free Frag has a long time here. And looks like finally we've got the... Uh, that, oh, saving that um, that soldier right there. Polar just at the, the nick of time against the Heavy. Heavy pulls out, actually, the uh, Fists of Steel, which makes him take a lot less damage. That's really cute. Uh, forcing the enemy to take a lot more... Uh, waste a lot more ammo and waste a lot more of that Uber just focusing him down. He knew he was going to die there anyway. He wasn't going to deal any damage to the Invuln players. So just pulls it out. Uh, pulls out the... Sorry. That was hilarious. But no, he actually pulled out the, uh, the Fists of Steel, that is. Kid Alpha now standing on the point trying to capture it and of course uh, heavies as long as they don't get headshot are pretty darn good for doing just that but Jake uh, where is Jake he is up right now so they're gonna have to be very careful Kid Alpha taking a lot of damage here too but there you go the capture time is down on the point 30 seconds left for Exodus Society only a minute left for Free Frag so if Free Frag can take it back then they may end up having the point but right now Kit's getting healed up by his uh, medic once again oh look big push here heavy medic or I'm sorry heavy soldier and sniper I always say heavy medic because uh, that's just what you expect but no um Heavy Soldier here, and Spy now as well. Spy uses the Dead Ringer there, and uh, Medic getting disconnected from his Heavy, so it's only 15 seconds left here for Exodus Society, but can they get back up and capture the point? I don't know. Big Sticky's coming in there, though. Look at the damage getting dealt by this demo man. He gets popped up in the air, though, and he now has mail from Roland as well. Roland, apparently a member of the uh, Publisher's Clearinghouse, delivering all sorts of interesting mail to people. Um... And as we all know, like, every single piece of mail we ever get is good. It, it, it's never, like, spam. You can always trust it. So um, that, that is why I love the U.S. Postal Service. There you go, though. It looks like uh, Exodus Society may be able to get back up here and take it. But so far, they're actually getting... Uh, they're getting really shut down here hard on the point by Free Frag. Free Frag uh, needs to get up here and stop this capture time, though. It's The, the times are so close once again. Uh, and Exodus Society actually really wasted a lot of time here during this round, so if they lose it, it is basically all their fault. Right now, Free Frag does still hold the point. Only five seconds left until it is an overtime, and Exodus needs to get up there and capture it right now. Uh, really, if anything, Bubby could have just pulled out his needles there and tried to get some extra damage down. They need to do that. They need to get damage. They need to kill all the players off this point. And there you go. Finally pulling out the overdose, dealing some needle damage there to the uh, soldier. They've got to get up there and capture it though if they want to win this round so far nothing happening yet demo is trying to bottle each other they're both out of ammo right now soldier there with the shotgun finishing it off there you go oh the capture is so close it is captured once again so 15 seconds left until exodus can win this can they do it the uber pop right now that is really going to help a lot keep these players alive on that point for as long as possible to block the capture time from red free frag is going to get a push together here but i don't know if it's going to be enough lots of damage coming down from the blue team right now and there you go exodus brings it up three to two for the halftime Oh, man, this has been a long game so far. These rounds are crazy, but I'll be right back after half. And once again, if you're wondering what goes on during halftime, it is apparently um, some very cozy relations here between our soldier and our sniper sitting up in this little cubby hole here in spawn. That's what happens. Okay, second half starting now. There were some shout-outs during halftime because these guys did think they were getting casted, and already we are seeing, once again, the frame rate has gone way down. All right, let's try it again. Uh, Broco's here getting some stickies immediately down after there. He's, he does seem to have the better rollout as far as Devilmen go. Of course, these teams have switched sides uh, after the halftime, so now we have Exodus in red, Free Frag in blue. And right now, Cali, the first man to go down. Oh, big reflects there. Um, but, of course, it looks like Woodster now down as well. The control point is, of course, now available for capture, but the problem is the snipers should have a good eye on it. Uh, Jake's sitting back here behind his battlements a pretty standard sniper spot here looking to get some kills so far though free frag network not getting a lot of time on the point right now and in fact most of their men are dead exodus society everybody's up right now in comes a bombing soldier it's soldier v demo man here and that's always a fun battle to watch but it looks like wow free frag network losing a lot of players here and exodus society with some very very instantaneous uh, capture of the point so they are ready to go here looks like uh, they do have 100% of their uber ready right now and Dive just hanging out giving some intel to his team on which way the enemies are coming in now going in for a bomb here against the enemy medic does manage to kill Haga before he goes down to a pipe to the face not a lot you can do against like four or five players there but he did get one kill which is pretty awesome um, Rar Spoon here just trying to get around using that cloak and dagger to get behind the enemy team uh, may have been spotted there but no looks like he's going to be okay sounds like there was an uber down there for red actually and and the Uber not ready for um, Free Frag Network just yet. 
Uh, looks like Turbox down, but Serene has managed to kill Manhugs, and so these spies going really huge this game so far. Uh, we're seeing Free Frag right now. They are trying to push in, but the problem is Exodus does hold the point very, very well right now. Their Medic, of, of course, at full health, so it's going to take a lot to kill him. And Roland now coming in, uh, using his Flare Gun to light people on fire. That's really just going to be annoying at this point. It's not going to do a lot of damage to them because they've got their Medic up to heal that right now. Uh, Free Frag trying to push in here, but oh, pff, oh no! Took that huge build to the face. He's going to grab that health kit, so he'll be okay, but uh, he's trying to rocket jump up onto the point, and that is just not what happened. Oh, that heavy just got beat down, though. All Manwich showing us why he is, in fact, all Manwich. But there he goes, finally has died to the heavy, or, I'm sorry, to the soldier there. That would, of course, be Polar, and Exit is still holding onto the point. Polar with a big jump in right now. Managed to do a lot of damage to the medic, and oh, walks up to him with a shotgun. I think that Pyro there may have even popped him into the air to get him closer. Uh, meanwhile, there was a needle kill there from from, I believe, from Bubby. Uh, nonetheless, we didn't get to see that, and now there's a pause, so what fun. Pause already over. That was a nice quick one for me, so I'm always happy. Seems like somebody had to uh, rejoin the game there, but we will see what happened. I'm going to reload my HUD, but it looks like they are okay. Everybody's still in the game. Uh, Broca is dealing some damage there to the Engineer right now, and NG taking... Oh, I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this. Scout on him. There you go. Dive give taking his role very seriously as taking out those injured players. So there, that is an awesome thing for the scout to do. Exit is holding on to this point now for two full minutes, and they've got the Uber ready to go, so they're actually holding on to it for even longer, keeping the enemies off that point as much as they possibly can. Right now there is a heavy hanging out here, just dealing a lot of damage from range. Nice teleporter location, but the problem with that, of course, is that uh, it's teleporting people to the low ground, and Haga gets taken out mid-air there. Once again, I do like to call Kit Alpha's uh, any, any heavy, really. I like to call them the anti-aircraft gun, because that's exactly what they do. Somebody jumps up into the air, it makes it such an easy target for that heavy to hit and just you know point in the general direction and shoot. So, uh, now Free Frag finally putting together a coordinated push here to get to the point, and it looks like they may be able to capture it now that the Uber is gone for Exodus. But no, so far they're still falling back off, taking a lot of damage here, and the more the damage they take, the less they want to push up. There's just like no cover except for this tiny little spot once they get on the point. And there you go, the Heavy's getting pushed up right now, uh, dealing a lot of damage, but he has to back out there. Scout jumped on his head, and he took way too much. Um, Bubby now is very, very hurt. Way to go on that Pyro, though, for putting him out. Uh, Jake now looking to get some big kills, though. He's just waiting to see Exodus walk up above. Oh, spots the spy. Doesn't manage to get the kill yet. Um, and there he's, he thinks he's dead. But he's not. That spy is still alive. Now Kid Alpha is trying to push back up to the point once again. And remember that Exodus Society is already one point ahead here. So if they manage to win this point, then I think they have won the game. And it's only three seconds left before they do. So, oh, a big crit sticky is coming in right now, though. Kid Alpha having to drop way back. And good kills so far. Not a lot of them, but it's forcing Exodus Society very, very far back right now. Dr. Hash with the Chris Krieg once again. Serene, though, getting the kill and hopping back away so of course that is a problem with that dead ringer spy you never know when he's dead and serene doing an extremely good job with it uh, so far, though, Free Frag still has not managed to take the point. They have killed Jake there, who was just standing on it, but now Dive is down as well. Rar Spoon looking like he wants to kill anybody who walks up there, just like everybody else, of course. Uh, and we are seeing Exodus getting ready to make a coordinated push around to the point already. They've got some time going down on it. Uh, that is getting stopped for the moment, but here comes a big soldier jump in with that Liberty Launcher once again. Um, Cali here is taking a lot of hits, and there he goes. This could be the round, guys. Exodus may end up winning this game if they can just capture the point. They've got to get it, though, and there they go. Only three seconds left once they've done it. Oh, Pyro getting in there and stopping it, but there you go, 2, 1, and that just might be the game. Exodus Society, oh, it's overtime. Uh, I don't think it's going to work here. Scout trying as hard as he can, and there you go. Exodus does manage to cap it. So there you go, 4-2 to two for Exodus Society against Free Frag Network. A very well-played game. I love watching them, of course. Hit that subscribe button here on YouTube.com slash This has been Salamancer. I'm signing out.